Okay, getting back to this brake job on the uh, Mercedes 280SC or W108. I've got the uh, axle shafts installed on both the left and the right hand side and all torqued down to specifications. And now we're ready to go on with the uh, parking brake shoes. And uh, got to drag a, an extension cord around now because the battery on my camera is pretty much gone. I went ahead and uh, installed the parking brake on the passenger side to uh, kind of go through it myself in my head to uh, learn how to do it and uh, come up with any pointers. And the orientation is such that the uh, adjusting star wheel is going to be facing the forward direction. And also another thing to look out for is the uh, small eye of the spring goes toward the rear and the uh, large eye of this spring goes toward the front. And um, the third thing you want, to look, you want to look out for is this pivot pin here on the parking brake actuator it has to point in the upward direction instead of the downward direction. So we'll uh, come back over here and uh, here's what the new shoes look like. They are made by uh, Miley and um, kind of interesting. I think these are the original parking brake shoes. You can see you got a lot more meat on these than you do the uh, brand new shoes. But these shoes are just completely ruined with gear oil. Um, but one, because of the uh, outer seal here, failed. And um, one thing I did when I took this off the car is I left all, all the components on here exactly the way that I found them. Where you've got the star wheel pointing in the forward direction and the uh, small eye of the spring going toward the rear and the large eye going toward the front. As well as the uh, orientation of this return spring which actually goes on from behind. So I left it like that on purpose because I knew this job would take a long time and I didn't want to forget how all these parts went together so pretty much all I've got to do is um, clean all these parts up and uh, transfer them to the uh, new brake shoes and that's um, not going to be too hard to do these uh, shoes just come apart once we get that star wheel out of there you just use both hands and uh, pull the star wheel out as well as the return spring, I'll try to set this camera up and do that. So you kind of want to lay all the parts out where you can uh, kind of get a mental picture of how they went on. And then we'll try to, I can't remember if I used a vise to do this or not, but you just want to try to pull these shoes apart. Take out your star wheel. And then uh, force this spring out of here. Now we have everything disassembled. And, uh, even if your parking brake adjusting mechanism has not gotten messed up with gear oil, you can see how bad this is. You want to take everything apart like this and uh, also unthread this completely and just clean everything thoroughly because you don't want this binding up and um, eventually causing your parking brakes to be inoperative. So. Let me uh, use some brake cleaner and clean all these springs up and get all the gear oil off of here. And then we'll be ready to uh, transfer these parts to the new shoes and put them on the car. Okay, now that we have our uh, star wheel all disassembled, comes in uh, three pieces. Now is a good, and it's all cleaned up. Now's a good time to go ahead and uh, lubricate all the moving parts to uh, make it easy to adjust and uh, we'll just take some regular grease regular wheel bearing grease 
and it uh, doesn't take a lot. I'm going to go inside this cavity here, and spread some around with your finger, and then put the star wheel in. Move that all around, make sure that it's nice and smooth. And then the same thing for the uh, threaded portion. And then we'll go ahead and screw that down. And you want to run it down all the way, but not too tight, just good and snug. I think I need a little bit more grease in the uh, larger side. And uh, now that feels nice and smooth. Go ahead and set that down. And you want to be clean because you uh, definitely don't want to get any grease on these new shoes, that's for sure. So the next thing we'll do, is we've got the uh, return spring, or the uh, upper return spring all cleaned up. And we'll run that through behind, like so. Kind of like that. And now we want to put our star wheel in. Just like that. And now these shoes are ready to be spread apart and uh, put on the car. So let me go ahead and uh, reposition the camera and do that part. Now before we uh, go on with the uh, new set of parking brake shoes, you, you can see this looks like just like it did before with the old shoes. Generally, you want to apply a thin film of uh, lubricant on these flat areas on the backing plate as well as the uh, lever mechanism. But because these shoes are going to be moving back and forth quite a bit as I wrestle with them to get them on and get the springs on, I don't dare take a chance on any grease um, coming off of here onto the edge of these shoes. So I'm going to uh, not lubricate these for now put them on dry, and then once they're on, lubricate them later. And uh, sorry for the shaky camera, it's gotten very cold out here for some reason. So, let me uh, put the camera back, and we'll uh, try to install these things. So installation is basically reverse of removal. Just want to, again, make sure the star wheel is pointing toward the forward part of the car toward the front and you want to spread them apart cross over the axle shaft and try to engage the uh, parking brake mechanism below You can see what a mess this would have been had I had applied lubricant already. Okay. These are basically in the right position. And now let me get some tools, and we'll go ahead and put the uh, retaining springs in. Alright, I got one spring down on the bottom just to kind of hold things in place to make the video a little bit better. Here's what they look like. Just want to take a pair of needle nose pliers if you don't have a special tool. And uh, thread it in there. Push in and turn 90 degrees.
And now what you want to do is take your shoe to shoe return spring that goes on the bottom, take the small lip here, or actually, yeah, this side right here, and uh, that goes down toward the bottom shoe. Hopefully you can see what I'm doing. I don't know if you can. And now comes the fun part. You gotta have these needle nose vice grips. And uh, try to get that spring up into the upper shoe. Usually it takes quite a bit of force. And the shoes slipped on me, so let me get that readjusted and try again. Okay, I got a different angle now, and I uh, got the shoes back in position. They're flopping around because I don't have all the uh, parts in yet. But uh, hopefully you guys can see this as much as you can. So this is going to be the uh, installation of the uh, bottom shoe-to-shoe -shoe return spring. Just don't have the strength to do it yet, but <laughs> you guys get the idea. The uh, right tool for the job would definitely help. <sighs> Finally. Definitely takes quite a bit of strength to do that without the right tool, so you just have to be patient with it and uh, keep trying again. So now, all the uh, parts are together, star wheels facing in the right direction. Got that big old shoe to shoe return spring put in. The top shooter to return spring put in. And uh, now what I need to do is clean my hands up and then uh, what we'll do is we'll uh, push back on these shoes and see if we can get a little bit of grease in there on that backing plate. I don't know if I can film that or not because that's going to take two hands for sure but uh, you guys get the idea. Just You definitely want to have a little bit of lubricant on there just to make this thing operate more smoothly. So let me do that and then we'll uh, carry on. Okay, I got uh, everything lubricated. Hopefully you guys can see a little bit of that in there. And uh, there's that shoe to shoe return spring I was fighting with earlier. So now the brake, parking brake shoes are basically done. The only thing left to do is to complete the adjustment. I've got the, uh, this is the original rotor that uh, was cherry red and I've got the inside of it all cleaned up from all that gear oil. I also took some uh, emery cloth and went around to the circumference and uh, sort of resurfaced the uh, brake surface there for the parking brake. But basically what you want to do is uh, take a screwdriver through this large hole here and kind of turn that star wheel in a downward position little by little and then put the rotor on and uh, see if there's any friction at all. If there's not, keep turning it downward. You want to get to the point where you just have just a slight amount of friction in there and that way you know that you've got these uh, shoes spread apart far enough to where you don't have an excessive play in the system when you go to engage it. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, do that. That's a trial and error process or an iterative process. Uh, you can also do this with the um, rotors on the car as well too. You don't have to take off the brake caliper and the rotor and everything else, but while I've already got it apart and everything, 
it's just easier to do it this way. So the uh, next video is going to be finally to uh, rebuild the calipers and uh, put those on and replace the brake pads.